I'm David Gregg. Today we're going to Jerema Hill, the highest point in Rhode Island, in Foster. These, this winter weather makes it extremely difficult. I've always wondered about it and never been there. I guess it used to be private land and you couldn't go there at all and now it's open to the public, so I'm really interested. I, uh, I hope it's not too much higher. Woo. The Rhode Island Natural History Survey presents videos to showcase the animals, plants, geology, and natural systems that surround us, and the people and organizations working to understand and conserve them. You can tell by the slight down slope here that if you come to this clearing, you've come too far. Yeah, the high point's just back that way a little bit. Yeah, this looks promising. I wouldn't say this is the high spot, but this is where everybody's piled their rocks and left their little geocaches. You know, maybe the top of this rock is highest. No, I think the highest spot is just through there a little bit. Okay, hold it a second. The exact location of the peak of Jeremoth Hill seems to be open to some interpretation. If you go to the site and you see the boulder that's covered with other rocks and geocaches, it looks like people think it's off just to the edge of that clearing, but it's obvious the clearing is already to the west of the peak. So I looked at Google Earth and I looked at ArcGIS Online and both of them give the location of the peak of Jeremoth's Hill as a little bit to the east of the path and north of the clearing. There's also a little bit of disagreement about the height of Jeremoth Hill because ArcGIS Online gives the height as a little over 840 feet even though all the other sources give the height as either 810 or 812 feet. So I decided that I should dig into where these elevations actually come from. And I asked people at the Environmental Data Center at URI, who are experts in this kind of geography and cartography, and I learned that the height of 840 some feet is actually derived from radar data from a space shuttle mission about 30 years ago. When you look up the accuracy of the radar instrument that was flown on that space shuttle, it's actually not that high. So we also asked some people who were knowledgeable on the history of surveying in Rhode Island, and they agreed that the given height of 812 feet is probably the most uh, accurate that we have. Yeah. This is a high spot. I kind of feel like it should be more monumental, but hey, humans don't have to go around marking up everything. I think this is it. Right here. Yes. Yes, we made it. Quick.
Okay, I found it. There's a big rock right here, and I'm at the spot where I have determined it's the highest, and here I found a big rock under the snow. So let's go with this. Jeremoth Hill, the highest point in Rhode Island. All right, back to the car. Maybe 300 yards off the road. Under normal conditions, I expect you would come in this gate here, but with the recent snowfall, it's been closed by snow from the snow plows. Setting out from the trailhead here at Buck Hill. Beautiful conditions. Got my skis. Let's see how far we go. Just here at Buck Hill Pond, I guess that must be the dam over there. Gonna turn left on Benson Mountain Path. Here's what that woodpecker was working on. Here's one of those forage fields where DEM was planting stuff to promote deer and game birds and other wildlife. Definitely working. Here's the deer track. I don't know if they're still doing that as much anymore as planting wild, uh, wildflowers, native plants, but uh, sure can see it in the woods. And this is one of the early successional habitat uh, cuts that have been made. So there's the regular oak woods on the right, and then this has been cut and allowed to regrow. And take a look at that. Nothing more than about 20 feet and a lot of little brush and twigs and stuff. There we are. Tri-State Stone! Woo! In Connecticut now. 14 days quarantine. Oh. Now I'm in Massachusetts, 14 days more. Quick, get back to Rhode Island. Phew! I made it. Back to Rhode Island, whoo! This is really cool. I only have a couple minutes left on my time limit, so I gotta turn around and get out of here. This is beautiful.
Natural History Survey videos are made possible through the generous contributions of members and friends. Want to help us do more environmental science and conservation? Hit the like button, share our videos with your circle, subscribe, or make a financial contribution on our website, RANHS.org, or through Patreon. Thanks, and see you out there.